We have new video tonight of a shocking drive by shooting last month where a Spokane police officer was hit. Today, Spokane County Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich released that video at a press conference saying more needs to be done to stop violent crimes in our community. Grab to Cody Proctor joining us now live in the newsroom with more on the video. Cody. Well, Mark and Whitney, the Spokane County Sheriff's Office is the agency that's investigating the shooting since it was an SPD officer who was shot. Sheriff Knezovich released it today in order to both show the public the violence unfolding on Spokane streets and as a way to push elected officials to enact stricter policies to keep dangerous criminals in jail. The video released Friday is less than two minutes, but it sets the scene at the June 26 shooting that sent a Spokane police officer to the hospital. According to Spokane County Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich, the two suspects, 22-year-old Ray Weinkoop and 21-year-old Isaac Ott, deliberately targeted police as a way to gain street cred. They came there to shoot a police officer. They came there specifically for that reason. Sheriff Knezovich stated more needs to be done to protect law enforcement and that elected officials at the local and state level need to change policies to keep people like Ott and Weinkoop off the streets. This is a policy issue. This is not a police issue because, again, we'll put them in prison all day long. If you keep letting them out, what have you taught them? You can get away with this. No one will hold us accountable. In the video, you can see both suspects in a car carrying what appears to be a gun. One of them has part of their face covered. At one point, the suspects spot a Spokane police car and start chasing it. As this police officer drives by, she noticed them and noticed that she was being filmed. Shortly after, several gunshots can be heard. Spokane police officer Chris Honiger suffered gunshot wounds to his leg and his head. He's since been released from the hospital and is said to be doing okay. Ott and Weinkoop crashed their car not long after and were arrested. They're facing several felony charges, including attempted first-degree murder, assault, and unlawful possession of a firearm. The suspects are also accused of shooting at two different houses before shooting at police. Newly released court documents also say during a phone call from the Spokane County Jail, Weinkoop told someone, if you can get me out, I can do it again. Both suspects are believed to be gang members. Weinkoop remains in jail on a $2.1 million bond. Ott is in custody on a $2 million bond. Right now, they're scheduled to be arraigned on August 9th. In the newsroom, Cody Proctor, Creme 2 News.